Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another Elden Ring build. Today, I have for you guys an S tier Frost Bleed build. We're going to be dealing so much damage. We're going to be having a very OP Arcane Dexterity build, which is going to deal an insane amount of damage. If you guys love Bleed and Frost, and then love the combination, then you guys are really going to enjoy this build today. So if you like how that sounds, a like is much appreciated. So let's get started. So today we're going to be focusing on Frost and Bleed, and we're going to do the highest amount of damage at the fastest rate that we can to be able to knock out just about anything that gets in our way. And to be able to do that, guys, to be able to do that, we're going to be using two of the best twin blades that are in the game itself, and those are the Twin Knight Sword. And on one of the weapons, we are going to be using the Chilling Mist Ash Award, which is going to be dealing a 210 with 169 magic. But the great thing about it is the passive effects is going to be a frost buildup of 127. Once this progs, then we're shortly going to be dealing tons on tons of damage and how we're going to be able to do that i'll be showing you guys in a bit on what we exactly need to do and then on the other twin knights of sword we're going to be using seppuku and that is what we're going to try to do we're going we're going to try to take advantage of blood and frost at the same time we're going to be dealing blood and frost right from the first hit that we do to any foe in the game. And to be able to do this, we're going to be having a passive effect of blood loss buildup of 139. And you may be asking yourself, whoa, how do we get it that high? Well, I'll be showing you guys in a bit what exactly you need to do in your character status to be able to deal this high amount of damage. And to be able to take advantage of everything that is within this build, we're gonna be using the white mask, which is going to deal a 10% additional damage when blood loss is in its vicinity. And then we're going to be using the Raptor's Black Feather, which is going to help us with an additional 10% when we do any jump attacks. And the great thing about this build is that with the Twin Knight Swords all put together, we're going to be dealing tremendous amount of damage and we're just going to be deleting anything because of the high rate and the high amount of damage so we're going to be dealing with frost and also as well as bleed and then we're just going to be using the fingerprint greaves along with the gauntlets that are going to just help us to give us a little bit of poise now in regards to the talisman we're going to be using the millicent prosthesis this one's going to boost our dexterity by five additional points since this weapon scales by dexterity is going to give us a five additional points which is going to bring us up to almost 500 which is pretty good because we are going to be buffing that later on to make it into a killing machine now to be able to help us with any of the jump attacks we're going to be using the claw talisman this is going to enhance any jump attack by 15 percent this two put together we're going to be dealing all put together 25% additional damage to anything that gets in our way. The awesome thing about these two put together is that they're very, very easy to stack up because of the twin blades, twin knight swords. It, they're so easy and very reliable to use. Now, to be able to deal more damage, since we're using blood and frost, we're going to be using the Lords of Blood's Exaltation. This one's going to deal a 20% more blood loss in its vicinity. When that's happening, then the increased attack power is going to go to an additional 20%. And then the last, we're going to be using Shard of Alexander. You guys may be sick of this talisman, but this is the number one talisman to go to. This is what makes things happen sometimes. And this one's going to deal 15%. So as you see, 15%, an additional 20, 35, another 15, that's going to be 50%. And then we're going to be dealing another 10%, which is going to be 60. And then we got another 10 is an additional 70%. And that is not including all the buff that we're going to be using in this game. Now, to make that happen, we are going to be using a couple of incantations. One of them is going to be the Golden Bow. Yes, this was going to raise our attack power 
buy an additional 15% for about 60. So Golden Bow is one of the best things you guys can use in any build because it's going to raise your level. Just about anything is going to, you're going to be dealing more frost, more bleed, more physical damage all put together is going to go magically with the flame grant me some strength with an additional 20 percent which is going to last less than the golden belt but it's still you know it's a buff that you guys definitely definitely are going to need in this build now since we are dealing bleed and frost we are going to be using the magic shrouding craft here in our wondrous physics the reason why is because frost does level up with magic so by boosting up your magic you guys are going to be able to raise up the amount of damage you guys are going to be able to do with frost in this case as you guys see there's the cost frost build up of 127 that is going to go up even more because of because of the magic as you guys see the scaling of it is going to go up even more and we're going to be dealing a more more damage now and the next one is going to be one of my favorites crack tiers and that is the tourney this one will boost successive attack power by a lot since we are using the twin blaze this is going to go just perfectly because any hit that you land with the twin blaze I, I believe it's like about between three and four successful hits just in one swing is going to be dealing tremendous amount of damage and just to give you guys a little more extra buff we're going to be using the blood boil aromatic if you guys don't use this the blood boil aromatic it, it is a consumable but it does take away some of your hp to be able to use it but the turn side of it is that you guys are going to become a bit powerful for about 30 for i believe it's 45 seconds in return you guys are going to be dealing a tremendous amount of damage so so how do we use this build so let's take out our other blade so the best thing to do is we are going to be first use our flask of wonders so we're going to drink that up and then we're going to go into our golden bow and then after our golden bow we're going to do flamey grab me some strength and then after these we're going to go use the seppuku and then once we are in there we're going to bring up our, our another twin blade and we are going to do you do the frost chilling so now you guys see that you guys are going to be dealing a tremendous amount of damage you can do jump attacks or you guys can do just slashes as you guys see here overall the frost is going to last about I believe 20 to maybe 30 seconds so you guys are going to be dealing a tremendous amount of damage and the reason why i have the miss in my right armament is because it does the buff on it it does go away within 20 seconds opposed to the seppuku which lasts 60 seconds so so in those full 60 seconds you guys will be able to use the miss for three additional times so that's why it's going to work perfectly to be able to use this buff three different additional times as you guys are trying a bigger we okay so to make this happen our attributes points are going to be the following vigor is going to be at 45 giving us enough health to stay alive in the game to be able to deal a tremendous amount of damage to any foe with our bleed and also our frost at the same time mine is at 24 to help us with our enough buff and, and then on top of that to our chill miss endurance 22 just enough to give us uh, to be able to carry our armor and also our two weapons and then strength is going to be at 20 giving us a little more than the minimum to be able to use our weapons dexterity is going to be at 34 and intelligence at 9 faith 65 and arcane of course this is what you guys exactly need to do and is put it at 60 at 60 you guys are going to be dealing at a level of a hundred in at 60 you guys are going to be able to deal a blood loss build up of 139 139 is going to deal a tremendous amount of damage and with a white mass and also the lords of exaltation you guys are going to be dealing an additional 30 percent which you guys pretty much are just going to be wrecking it in the game itself so final thoughts about this build this is a pretty good build because 
we're talking about S tier and doesn't get better than Bleed and Frost put together. There's always been a question in about, there's always been a question, what's better, Bleed or Frost? Why not have both of them? But let me know guys in the comment section, what do you guys think, Bleed or Frost? What is the better things? What is the better what is the better status for you guys? Let me know in the comment section below. And then on top of that, just make sure you guys have your um, arcane at 60. You do not need to go about 60 because if you go up to 80, you're just going to be wasting your attributes points because you are only going to go to 141 on blood uh, blast, which it doesn't make any sense. It's only two points. So use those 20 additional points to be able to throw it into either dexterity or your um, health to be able to stay alive in the game. So there you go, guys. That is how you put this build together. You guys are going to be wrecking it. You guys are going to be dealing so much blood and frost damage at the same time. You're going to be freezing and you're going to be killing everything that gets in your way. Once again, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you made it this far. And also, don't forget to hit that subscription button because we have a lot more Elden Ring, Cyberpunk, and also Nutch Nutch, a surprise for you guys in a couple of days that we can't say at this moment. But make sure you guys turn on those notifications. Trust me, you guys will not be disappointed at all. Now, here is another build that is popping out. Check it out. Let me know what you guys think about it. I now talk to you guys on the next one.